Um, my topic is the first part that we watched. May we have fun, may we have fun in the next 30 minutes. Um, first, who are we? As you can see, there's no we here, just me. For some reason, my colleague can't come. I'm, I'm lonely. Um, I'm Alex Tulin from NetLab of 360. I used to work as a malware analyst, analyst and uh, kernel developer at a security company, Kinsoft and uh, um, Kaspersky, now at uh, NetLab. We mainly, we mainly focus on Linux malware. We do have some special fundings this year. For example, um, a backdoor which named Guard Lua, which is the first uh, Linux malware um, use the DOH te technique. And another one, the Mozi is a P2P IoT botnet. Um, it has been talked twice at the at our um, bot, um, botnet conference. Um, I also want to do uh, um, a, li a little of PR of my missing guy. Um, he is, his name is Chu Wenji. He is um, some kind of open source guy. He do develop a lot of uh, um, useful utilities, like some Ada script, which you can um, recover Golan binary symbols. OK, here's the plan. Um, I decided to divide the talk into three parts. The first one is about the details about the first, uh, first botnet itself. Um, this part may be interesting. And the second one is some tedious statistics. And uh, the last one is some campaigns. Um, there are some campaigns we cannot say in detail. There are some protection. But there are some, also there are some public affairs we can we can talk talk to you guys. Okay, to keep us in the same picture, I'd like to do a brief introduction to the um, Photoshop net. Uh, some of you may know what it, it is because we had already published the two blogs of it. And uh, I asked the most popular superstar these days, the chat GPT had no clue, um, but uh, it can bring uh, it can bring it because the chat GPT only knows things only know the things before um, 2021, and uh, Photoshop is a botnet which show, showed up in 2022. Um, it mainly targeted on IoT devices, and uh, during the development, uh, it absorbed uh, a lot of features of the Mirai botnet, and uh, also it, it had its own characteristics such as use. Uh, TEA and uh, Charter 20 algorithm to, to, pro to protect uh, um, its resources and the network communication. Uh, this generator 12 is the first time we captured the first chart samples. Um, as, uh, all the credit belongs to my colleague, which he, he is our um, hand pot guy. Mm. I finished the sample analysis in one hour, and uh, through the time you can see how simple it is at the first version. Mm. At that time, I don't think Photoshop was worth it to track, but the one insists. So we <laughs> start uh, tracking on January the, the 13th. Mm, I still remember um, there's a bite between R and the one. Um, we, 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 um, the bite is about uh, how long it will take for Photoshop to die. And uh, between us, the winner would be the big brother. I choose maybe three or four days it will die, but uh, one choose at least one month. Um, as the first time, one is so silent. Because um, the C2 do not deliver any other commands, just a heartbeat. 
but all things changed when when it comes to day seven. It's about uh, on January the twenty. Um, it's our first time to check the um, DDoS record from the first time. And since that day, first time has not stopped the pass of DDoS attacks. Um, it infects so many devices that co that's causing the attention of CNC. Um, this is a picture showed all the um, all the bots bot IPs and from March 20, 29 to April 10. The total number of unique bot IP had exceeding um, six six two thousand, and the daily number fluctuated around uh, um, ten thousand. Um, so, but I had for the time had become a thread that cannot be ignored. Based based on this info, we decided to. And disclosure the first half of that uh, it contained uh, it containing version one and version two and the blog is with censored together and and after after that the first half of that you can see he leave a message on his uh, <laughs> new sample and uh, it just, just, he just said, "Nalab, please leave me alone. I surrender." Of course, we are happy, as as if our work's value has been <laughs> affirmed. But it's kind of fake move. And the first I asked is, "What is what is there involving?" Um, about uh, um, one month. The first time we capture another version, it use a uh, so-called open leak TLD. Uh, quick question: how many, of, how many of you guys heard about the open leak TLD? Mm, not so much. But <laughs> <That's a little. laughs> yes, good. Uh, what what is open leak TLD? Let's take a picture. Let's see the picture. It's uh, just some. Some some kind of we can say it's come weird TLDs. Some phrase we can see that they are totally different from the TLDs under the ICANN system. Um, these these TLDs, um, the TLDs under the ICANN system are something we are familiar with, like dot uh, com, dot net, something like that. And uh, and also about the this version we capture is just. It is it's just a, a beta version. It's used to test. We think it's used to test the um, feasibilities of the open leak TLDs. About five days later, we capture another version, um, V3. It's, uh, um, in this version, the author redesigned the communication protocol and they start to use TEA and the Charter 20 algorithm to protect uh, its, resource, its, its resource and the network communication. And at the same time, a dual C2 scheme with open NIC domain as the primary C2 and the ICANN domain as a backup C2 was adopted. Sorry. Okay, it's about uh, two months. Yes, in fact, uh, the version three um, has used use. Its version three is very close to the version version four. The, the, um, the, some difference is um, version four changes the sensitive resources. The way of sensitive resources and remove some features, remove some features like the um, anti sandbox, anti debugging, or anti emulation. And uh, a very uh, interesting point is that uh, um, first I start start a uh, run DDoS. Uh, what is run DDoS? 
just look at this picture. Um, he embedded the, the ransom messenger into the attack, uh, attack payload and asked the, the target to send uh, some capital to a uh, specific uh, wallet, but it seems the wallet is not valid. So we just uh, think he is just trying to make more profit and the seems he they do not work in this way. Okay. Well, um, first I was busy attacking various attacks, but uh, it has not got to mess with us. You can see he leave, he leave the phrase, the lit code at one of its uh, uh, scan payload. The lit, do you guys know what does this lit code mean? It's that not lab gay. And uh, we, we are kind of angry and decide to show our fist. And uh, two days later, and so we de decided to write a new blog to um, disclose the version three and the version four. And about uh, two days later, a new messenger was delivered in the updated samples. It says, Please leave him alone. He, he didn't prov provoke. I think it's kind of brazen, right? And, uh, okay. Mm. No, let's back to the function. Just and the information before is just some kind of Interesting, interesting story when we fight with the first hub at night. Now, let, now let's back to the function of the first hub itself. Um, as we all know, um, Mirai is definitely a peak when we talk about the IoT botnets. Uh, many botnets have borrowed the code from Mirai, and the first hub is no exception. Um, at, uh, the similarity and the difference is sure in the in the PPD, but at the same time, Fortran also has its own unique features. Take a look. First, about uh, what Fortran had learned from Rai, there's something like uh, um, table init. This is a very um, clear features he learned. If if you guys are familiar with the um, and uh, you you can you can see you can when you see this picture you you guys may laugh, and also um, there are some and there are some um, DDoS vectors he just borrowed code from the um, from the Mirai source code. Um, here the the definition of the um, attack ID. This variable comes from the source code of the Fortran C2. Okay, although he learned something, but uh, he just he um, has his own characters. Um, for some, for example, he used two algorithms. One is um, TA, another is um, Charter 20, and uh, they have different uh, rule. The TEA used to protect sens sensitive uh, resources. This including OpenX2 and, uh, and Charter 20 key nouns and some slogan or something like that. And uh, Charter 20 algorithm protects communications from uh, stage two. And this, these two pictures these two pictures are traffic from version two and the version four. At the first glance, they are completely different, right? But in fact, they are in the they can they can they are in the same four stage. Um, in stage one, just make is negotiation negotiate one. It just to make sure both NC2 get the same Charter 22, Charter 20 key. 
um, stage two, um, bot and uh, C2 send, uh, send uh, some specific info to each other. Um, they are encrypted with the Charter 20 algorithm. If the bus side think uh, the, other, the, the other side is they are missed right, so that goes to stage three. Um, there are two, dif are two differences, as you can see. The first one is um, version, two, version two has no, has no padding, and uh, version three and version four have padding. And uh, the other one is uh, in version two, the um, Charter 20 stuff are plain test, and in version three or version four, the um, Charter 20 stuff are um, self test. Uh, about the C2 um, products, we have very detailed description, uh, description at uh, our um, two blogs. If you guys are interested, you can find you can find it there. Okay, just uh, back here. As we can see, and um, talk about padding. Just uh, look, look at the padding. Look at the um, the, um, the the bill one. You can see at the offset uh, at uh, at, the, at the offset of six. The value is uh, um, sixteen in hex. So it means the um, next uh, sixteen sixteen bytes are the padding. This is uh, this is just uh, we talk about uh, what is the padding. Okay, let's go next part. Um, talk talk about the OpenXD two, and uh, they had uh, they, these are advantages of the OpenXD two. I think everyone who engages in the dark or gray industry will love it from both of Lama head. Um, this domain, take a look. This is the uh, um, OpenIC uh, C2 from, from the Steam's version, version 2 or version three and version 3, and some of from version 2 to version 4. You can see the phrase, um, they are kind of racist. Yes, right? And, uh, and this demands after we publish the use the after we publish the second blog um all of this there's still some um less the discrimination words but uh, it's obviously more compromised also take at the one let's make a deal no we don't make a deal um let us just just now we just now we see there are thirteen opening domains too, and uh, how about how many IP used the bad how many IP used the bad for example that um, when we when when you want to see the IP used the bad uh, opening domain you must uh, you can use it with the dig command. And but but you must with some specific DNS resolver. Can you see that picture? It's, it's, you um, you can find more info on the OpenIC uh, um, website. It provides a list of uh, um, DNS resolver, so you can try it. Um, we we found there there are 19 IPs be behind the 13. Behind the 30, well, 90 IPs behind the 13 domains, and uh, they look located uh, at uh, 10 countries and belongs to 10 service provider. It's impossible to, as it, as uh, we mentioned before, it's impossible to take over the OpenEcosy 2. And uh, if we want to take over 19 IPs, from 10 providers, 10 service providers at the same time. This really need a lot of resources and, co and the cooperation. Um, sometimes it's the um, frustrating thing about a uh, um, blog. When we write a blog, really with, with, uh, with blood sometimes, 
but it seems nobody cares. We don't make the world a better place. But in this case, but uh, not always. In this case, in the first case, there are someone else care, care about the first time. Um, time to... Another guy, another guy from from uh, not, another guy from Telegram, he give he give he give us some um, info, and uh, he said uh, he on his his own button ad, and uh, he want to be rich, and he want to take first out down, and and at la and and at last. Uh, he provide our source code of the um, Fortran C2 and uh, uh, access to a um, control terminal. Also, there are some other inference that has not been um, verified. He said um, the creator of the Fortran is is uh, is the one who named Hamlog. And uh, four and uh, four guys work for him. He is also in charge of the um, breaker bot. The breaker bot. Um, have you guys know what is breaker bot? It it seems it's, it's just a um, dangerous bot. We just from the name, just make your devices um, to a break. It it, it uh, um, destroys seem almost. Uh, Thousands of uh, IoT devices, and uh, you, you can see, you can see the price of the Hamlog uh, DDoS. Um, I had to add, it's it's uh, it seems it cost uh, um, one hundred European per day. Um, I had to admit that. Uh, unless than 100 European a day, so I don't verify if Hamlog is for the chart. And if you some some of you rich, uh, some rich guy is interested in this, please contact with me. Let's do it together. And this is the this is the um, seed panel. Just the, we get from we get um, we access we get access. Uh, these things are just normal. There's nothing special. Just, just, just like some, um, some bot info, user info, uh, and this is some some kind of a DDoS command. If you guys uh, read the um, right code, you guys may be very familiar to this. But we found some interesting, found interesting stuff in the user in, in the user info. Mm. We we just uh, um, give the user info to the police officer, um, and uh, he he confirm this the right one the the right name are bad guys. Then um, last conversation on the left. He confirmed all the um, red ones. He knows them. There are some, but uh, some 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 guy who play DDoS. And uh, also, we found there are some names, in, um, which have uh, um, Chinese Chinese speaking background. Um, so we want to do some fishing. We just uh, hook the access to the um, to this is to this IP, but uh, we we maybe we can we can um, have a big fish, but uh, unfortunately, until we lost our access to that IP, we didn't find some guy and um, access the, the um, service in China, and uh, this. And uh, from the um, the three the three guys the three users which have been confirmed they are um, botnet 
organizer or some or something like that, we can say Fortnite for the also say its DDoS ability to other guys. Okay, about tracking, um, is we use a um, totally more generally speaking, there are two methods of tracking. Um, the first one just um, just the um, <laughs> Just to pretend of a fake bot, and uh, all the protocols are obtained by re reverse engineering, and uh, it has uh, some advantages like uh, better control, and uh, we are not uh, take part in the DDoS attacks. And uh, if we, there are also another another one they call the bot farm, just uh, like the phrase, we we have there is a farm. There are a lot of bots in that. This uh, this one requires a lot of resources and uh, can. We choose the method. We choose the first method. Okay, here is a result of uh, um, our DDoS, DDoS tracking. Uh, you can see here is a sample. When you want to see the uh, um, the CC. Um, one three three seven Meridian Geek. Um, what target it has attack? You can just query it. It will tell you um, what kind of attack vector, what kind of uh, target host, and uh, also about uh, ports or some some other things. A bit of attachment. If you guys want to try the query system. You can contact with me. We can maybe we can play you guys the free API. It's good one. It's really good stuff. Okay. This is um, it's the first chart harvest. Um, first chart take uh, um, first chart take one as we review the DDoS family in 2022. It's the most active new DDoS family in our site. Um, do you remember? Just now, I, ha just, um, I have a bet with my colleague one. Uh, he, when he, when he won, when he won the bet, he was drinking tea and with magic smile on his face, and asked me one question: Who is your daddy? Here at the bottom, I, I want to do, respond to him. My big brother one. You are the you are the one of the most uh, you are you are the one of the best botnet tracker in China or even in the world. Okay, come to the um, tedious statistic uh, part. Um, we like to say the first half of night, um launch did launch did launch did attacks that they are not more. This is, can you say it clear? Okay. It's just, it's just picture shows um, its target all over the world, and uh, it seems more than 100, 100 countries. This is the figures. This is how, and uh, totally attacked uh, five, it's okay. I think, I think this part is quite tedious, so let's go very fast, okay? <laughs> One, okay. And also, we have uh, um, DDoS vectors. Is, uh, the top, this is a top 10 attack method. Not good. And uh, about the exploit. Exploit used by the first uh, something like that. If you you guys want more detail, um, more details of um, statist uh, statistically the data, you can con uh, contact me later after um, the talk. Okay, the uh, this the bot uh, the bot scale. Um, this part is interesting. Um, in fact, we have we have we have um, measured the scale of the scale of the bot, the photo chart, three times. The first time is under the help of the uh, CN third, but it's, lim 
is limited. Um, Xian Search only had the version of China. He lost the version of the world. So the number of this one is it's just part of its uh, scale. And uh, the second, just uh, we can use um, the numbers from the panel. At that time, we have the access to the control terminal. Um, the number is about uh, 36,000. And uh, still, we just uh, get a number. And we want to and see the dis distribution of the um, bot. So we, when we have the access to and the control terminal, we tried and um, use it to um, launch the um, DDoS to a preset IP, so we can do the some statistics. And we tried uh, just uh, once, and uh, the number is nineteen thousand, and uh, some it looks uh, all. It looks the the bots are located all over the world. There's no um yes. Okay. Um come to the campaigns. There's some campaigns we can talk in the detail. And the first one is is um attack a has code organization of uh, some uh, some province of China. Uh, at that time, there are still there's um, COVID-19 problem in China. And if you have not um, green code, you cannot go uh, go to school, go to work, or you can buy you can buy things in the shop. So this this the talk do really do really um, have influence to our real life. This is one. Another one is we have to um, fix the evidence uh, of uh, a um, business, of a voice business company. And uh, the police ask uh, the suspect to attack a uh, preset IP. And uh, finally, we found uh, in our tracking system, we found uh, that target was uh, attacking. So um, at that time, maybe the, the suspect is just uh, one of the customer of the photo That's another one is about uh, 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 cloud service provider. And uh, he, he, their service is influenced uh, severely. He asked he ask us if we have an, any clue, we just uh, um, compare the data. We we see it's uh, for the top, and uh, the traffic is huge. It's exceeding one TB. Also, there's something we can say with names. Just uh, Navicat.com was attacked. Uh, Navicat, Navicat was a database. It's a database to a way which is widely used, and uh, it seems they have uh, news to say they are, they are influenced by the DDoS attack. And uh, about, the, about, the, about this event, uh, some allies have their um, conclusions. Let's say um, the Mirai botnet is the, is the killer. And and uh, something peak, uh, but uh, from our point of view, um, not on, not Mirai, but uh, um, for the star effort included in, in take part in this uh, attack, and the first star is uh, ten or ten to one hundred times bigger than the Mirai. You can you can see the difference uh, directly here. And uh, finally, we get we come to the conclusions. And uh, we think uh, the first that 
it infects the devices and uh, attacks devices located all over the world. And also it sells its ability, it does ability to some customers. And uh, he is uh, he he did not target uh, a specific country or specific uh, um, industry. Just give him, just uh, money driven. Give him, give him money. He he will do everything. And uh, first time itself is uh, quite simple. And I believe there are a lot of um, botnets like Fortisha over there. We guys just keep fighting. And uh, the blog sometimes works, yes. The, the, bad guys, the bad guys want us to be the knife to attack their competitors. We're happy to do that, yes. And uh, the last one is, uh, is <laughs> it means when we um, analyze this uh, malware, we can sometimes it's easy, but uh, it will go to a huge one. And some somewhere is so complicated. We take so many times to analyze it, but uh, it goes to, it goes to dead in two or three days. It just makes me unhappy. So it's just um, botnets that was like a bo box of chocolates. You never know um, what you are gonna meet. Okay, that's all. Thank you. No QA. <laughs> Okay, we're we're running a bit late, so you you'll get to ask questions uh, during the uh, the dinner together. No QA. I hate to pay. The, I even don't want to pay pay put this page here. <laughs> thank, okay. you thank, you, thank, thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.